And, and welcome to a new modern video. We're playing another version of Border's Vengeance that involves Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This is from uh, Triosk, Yuki Ichikawa, the player that kind of brought this back, brought this deck back, and has now made a few changes to the deck. There's no Solitude, there's only Leyline Binding. Sorry, there's no Solitude, but there's Leyline Binding, and you have Fable over Faithful Mending. So that you have a slightly better mid-range plan. This deck, I felt like you had to go mid-range a lot, especially for sideboard, but the Faithful Manning were really bad, so I want to see how this deck does. Okay, so the Mana Base is now a 5 color deck, because you have Edge Maze to cast Atraxa, and you have Savai Trium and Steam Vents to cast Fable. If that is obviously asking a lot to a deck with 3 basic lands, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. See how it goes, I guess. Welcome everyone to a new legacy video. Salseo, hello. Welcome Salseo. We're playing Moderno. We're playing four color Gorio. Play set of prismatic ending in the side. Thank you, Salseo. I appreciate that. Of course, Gore's Vengeance is the combo piece that you flashback either a Traxa or a Grizzly Brand. You blink it with Ephemerate and you just win the game when that happens. Like, Gore plus Ephemerate is usually a win. You have 21 lands, which aren't too many, but you have 3 Survey lands, and maybe 12. The flood and screw the flood and screw situation. All right. Yeah, the sense is nice. Okay, let's begin. Opponents playing Tron. They have Urza's Mine into Chromatic Sphere. And uh, yeah, all these fables are a little bit clunky for sure. Uh, what is the land I want to take here? Hmm. Steerings. I don't want to show my opponent that I play the deck I play because then they get a relic off of this. So maybe I just get mysterious here and then they don't get a relic. Yeah, I think that might be a plan or a plant. Yeah, I don't know why they play there's a saga first. So yeah, I'm gonna just take a Savai Trium to kind of throw them off a little bit. You wanna fetch edge maids? No, I would never fetch ed edge maids in the early game. I was thinking about fetching the white blue, but then I think I just gonna guess Trium just to not mill anything that makes them get relic. And now I found this, so I guess I can live against the relic now. Now I get hedge maids to have old domain. My Lilian binding, which I play four of in this version. Not normal, people usually don't play Lilian binding here, but. Wanted indulgence. 
I just can't draw this. And again, I drew ending, so I'm not... Like, I don't mind if they draw, if they go... Um, relic. So I might more if they go, like, car and Torment's Crypt or things like that. Falaji Archaeologist. I wonder if I should play that instead of Fable. Because Falaji plus Ephemerate actually digs for, like, nine cards. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, Fable in this matchup is bad. Fable is good in the more, more mid-range decks. Definitely not good against combo. Looking to mill... Uh, not that. Steven's grief. His deck has 26 hits for Falaji. Definitely the most you can do. I go ephemerate on Falaji. Not that I can't go this member. See what I find. I bricked again. Jeez. Same cards. Two lands and grief. Unlucky. Didn't even mill a creature. All right, so now they may go Relic instead of Map. No, they go Map. So they go Tron. They have five mana. I don't think I can win. If they go Karn, I probably can't win. Okay, they have Natural Relic. My graveyard is meaningless, so they probably don't need to crack it. It's really bad if they go like Ring or Karn. Especially if they go Karn or Pulmot script, then they have two things. Oh wow, they just pass. Crazy. Okay, Ephemerate, you, will you be able to find me a spell? see three of them in fact okay but I think like thoughts is the most to take like Ulamog and drug raise a brand unfortunately yeah back they'll fine all right let's go ending on the relic so that they have to crack the relic they draw a card. The deck list is uh, here. MTG bot is dead, so I have to manually give you the deck list. What is yourself? Yeah, that's a play available. Oh, wow. This man. Okay, so there's a world where I got thoughts is myself. I've never done this play before with this deck, but I think it makes sense here. I have 14 draws to find like griefs, and then I pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. OMTG fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go and thought this myself. Again, not a play I've, I've ever done before. But I guess somebody has to start eventually. I've done it in Legacy, Modern, <laughs> I've never done it before. Glorion, Grizzlebrand. We're still exactly 14, so I can't draw, you know, a lot more. So I attack with Grazer Brand, and then I draw 14. I can't draw 21. That's okay. Should be good enough. Let's 
No grief. There it is. I found at least one grief. And the pitch is probably a Traxa. Or is it Thoughtseize? I guess I'm gonna pitch Thoughtseize. That's a hand. That's a hand. I'm gonna take Karn, the great creator. And uh, we will see how the game will go. I'll uh, go to discard here. I'll discard uh, both attractions. I'll we'll discard all the fables, at least two fables. Also, this Falaji doesn't seem great. And I guess ending as well. Yeah, ending doesn't seem great. Maybe should discard on a land extra. Yeah, I don't know why I kept all these lands. Playing draws a power plant, so they can't cast Ulapog, thankfully. I can cast Eugene or Verm Coil, but those aren't too good. I only play one Grizzlebrand, so it's exiled, and I can't do it again. So I actually cannot win the game next turn. Not in the best of the shapes, to be honest with you. Because I only have one grief left in my deck, I think. Yes, I meal two and there's another one. And I definitely need to grief the Ulamog. Okay, they tap a lot of mana and they play the... Eugene, it seems. Okay. They want to shoot me down to four and attack me down to three. I'll begin by going Goria on Atraxa. What happened? I drew 14 with Grizzlebrand by thought teasing myself. Okay, uh, what do I find? I find another Gory for next. I find Grief, that's super important. Fable. I'll find Ending. I bet, oh, an Ending or, yeah. Oh, an Ephemeral Gory, what do I want? So here, I think I want Goria. Because my opponent may get rid of a. Uh, may be able to get rid of a. Um, Atraxa somehow. Watch out, Grief, Pitch, Tainted Indulgence. I guess I could Ephemerate Grief. And that is the missing damage. Huh, yeah. So instead of ephemerating the Atraxa, I ephemerate Grief. Let me think about the ways I can lose this game. So definitely have to discard Ulapog. I think it makes sense to ephemerate the Grief and let the Atraxa die. No, spetta, 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 spetta. How many... Uh, I think I punted. I think I punted. Because I have another... Uh, I should have attacked. Ephemerate Atraxa and then Ephemerate Grief. As it is, I just have to let it go. As it is, I just have to let it go. Yeah, I'm not happy with this play, but it happened.
Now I have to attack face with a Traxa. And then I have to Ephemerate a Traxa. Yeah, I should have uh, attacked and Ephemerate a Traxa first. M mistake. You can read the card under my camera. Okay, let's Ephemerate a Traxa. That's something I have to do. I have 15 cards in my deck. Yes, that's another Ephemerate. So that's unfortunate. Because I could have played around it. But I didn't. Then I go White Mana on tap, Leyline Binding on the Ugin, and pass. Leaving up both Binding and uh, Ephemerate. Okay. Oof. Okay, so we won this game, but it definitely felt like a game that we stole because my opponent didn't play Karn when they had mana for it. I would have never beat that. If they went Karn, Torment Script, 100% I would have lost. So that was definitely a misstep by them. Which is part of this game and also part of playing against Tron. You often rely on uh, Tron players not taking the optimal line. I think I want to take out the Fables. It's not even a blue card. I want to bring in March. Probably. Uh, anything else? No. What are the marches good against? I mean, it's a removal spell for a relic. I guess uh, Yuki Chikawa realized that he wanted more prismatic ending and he hates Touch of the Spirit Realm. Remember, he has never played Touch of the Spirit Realm. Actually, another card I can take out is Steam Vents, now that I took out the Fable. I suppose you can decide for the mirror. Yes, I think it's for the mirror match. Surgical. Okay, keep. Chromatic star. Let's go. Maybe I can get lucky with this meticulous archive and put a grizzly brand in my graveyard. Or an Atraxa. Me and I wish. I wish. Yep, not much I can do about it. Man, that's so lucky. I even said that. There's like literally one Grizzle brand. That's just so lucky. If you're lucky with this deck, you're unstoppable.
I got chromatic sphere. You need to buy Greaves, Gorius, and Atraxa to finish this deck. Yeah. I'm gonna miss a lane drop. Yeah, I am missing only two Tinted Indulgence and one Atraxa to finish this deck. Basically, I have... I have a fourth Atraxa, but it's in the cube. I don't like to take cards from the cube. Uh, I'll pass here. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't want to go Gorio. Maybe I should have. Can't believe they put Entomb on a land, right? Unbelievable, I agree with you. End of turn, we go Gorio. On Razorbrand. Has anybody ever spliced into the Arcane? The Gore's Vengeance. I never had. I changed the list a little bit. Bon, we got the Grief Ephemerate plan. It's your... Which... Which does the thing, does the job, but... Not the best. Oh, opponents play Martyr. Mar Mart Martyr. Martyr of Sands. Okay. What do you have in end? Solitude and March of the Other Worldly Light. Not the best card in the world, but. I guess I'll discard them. Martyr came second in a challenge by Lebunga. Was my deck of the weekend. Check it out. There it is, I summoned it. And there's no Archaeomancer, so I'm just gonna let the Ephemerate leave here. In the exile zone it goes. It stays, I guess. Then I go ending. What do I wanna end? I think I wanna end uh, the Martyr. I could have also ended the, the clue token. But I didn't want to attack, they double block. I think my grief has better plans here. Oh, you want to X1 retract and only lost to Martyrs? <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose. Uh, 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 okay, I'm gonna get planes. And then I can get blue-black here. Knowing you was a Martyr, did you consider going to discard on turn 1? <gasps> no, I didn't even consider it. That may have been the best play. Wow, that was very smart to do. Yeah, I should have done it. Should have done it. Do I want to get a red land or do I want to surveil? I think I want to get a red land. I'll get the sub I try, Amir. Here's a draw Fable. Elijah is a very good draw too. Maybe the best draw. Okay, I think I want to ephemerate the grief now in draw step. And then on the second time I'll uh I'll blink Falaji. Send me a photo on WhatsApp. Let's see what it is, people. Attention! You got the cards! Man, your tracks are all mismatching. No, not at all mismatching. Somewhat mismatching. By the way, I did find the Tainted Indulgence. And I'm pretty sure the vendor will have an Atraxa. So, I should be good for her. Have you decided to deck, people? Alright, I want to Ephemerate the Grief. I hope you didn't draw a removal spell. If you did, well, it'll hurt. But out of God, though, that was basically a removal spell. But thankfully, it's a Sorcery Speed one. Imagine playing Sorceries. 
mage. Okay, I'm gonna ephemerate the Falaji, find a creature and win the game. Legendary creature and win the game. That's a PO anyway, thank you, thank you. As always. Palagina, what do you find? Okay, it's not bad. But... I'll, I'll take Ephemerate. Ephemerate is just, is just broken. Ooh, Fabudu. Fabudu. Since I'm playing a Japanese uh, deck list, I should pronounce Fable as Japanese do. Fabudu. In Italian is Fiaba. I'm gonna assume that in Spanish is Fabula. Am I right? Am I right? La Fabula. I'll never know. Ooh. Hey, I'm glad I played this Fabulu. Fabula, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at my, look at my beautiful mana base right here. Then Esper mana base with a Fable in play. No, Fabulu. It's gone. No, Atraxa! Orca Paletta! Okay, what if I ephemerate the Falaji now and see what happens? Because if I get lucky, I can reanimate something. Did I get lucky? Zazan? No, I basta sti cazzo di gori, ma che? Va bene! Yeah, most time this likely ever, for real though. For real though. Bon, let's attack with these a pass. Perché? Cazzo da fare. Go. Mm. Kill my grief, huh? Yeah, 33. He were might. Okay. I'm gonna ephemerate the Falaji for the 15th time of this game. Let's see if I exile a creature. Or a mill a creature. Or even the Tinted Indulges does it, actually. I think another league after this one. No, after this one, I have to go buy ingredients to make Carbonara for Father's, for father's Day. Ecco la lui! We found the Atraxinia! Atraxa. Agararata. Fabadu. Fabadu. Doni. Char Doni. Attack. Bam bam bam. It's nice guanciale, si, sì, guanciale pecorino. Opponent goes for a little chump duty. A little chump duty. E va bene. You thought every kitchen in Italy always had the ingredients for carbonara laying ready. Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe they do. Allora, I'm gonna use uh, this white mana. No, in which not you found cazzo. Okay. You go to 11. Maybe I had lethal this, this, this turn. Yeah, I had lethal this turn. Yeah, I guess I was too excited and I didn't even think that I had lethal. But let's say that I'm not gonna lose. Let's just say that. Let's just say that I'm not gonna lose. No so opponent, my bar ended. 
I don't want to play anymore. Let's give up. What are we doing over here? I'm pass. Come wins of abandon. Va bene. Winds of Abandon. Not a very common card. Someone could say, in fact, it's an uncommon card. Or a rare one, actually, too. What time is dinner? Uh, no, it's lunch. Lunch. It's still early. It's 11.28 a.m. Usually, Carbonara, it's more of a lunch thing here. I mean, obviously, I can take it at dinner, but I don't know. It's usually a lunch. Okay, so I'm playing against the deck that kills my things. Lunch is now. Uh, usually, lunch is like 1 30 p.m. 1 30 p.m. usually here. I've seen that you say. Uh, let me see. Let me see the Martyrs list. You eat the same time in the evening. Yes, yes. Evening. Dinner is around 8, 8.30. Moonlight. You got a couple of Moonlights. Dancing in the Moonlight. You also have the Land of Sanctity, which for sure you side in against me. Gross. Do I want to take out Thoughts and Greaves? Thoughts is for sure. Maybe not Greaves. Thoughts is for sure. I want to bring in Teferi. Retract. Do you like this configuration? I'm going to assume you do. Who doesn't like mango configurations for sideboard? Deep. Game one, uh, you would have Consider going to discard. Man, that's never a thing that even crossed my mind. Missing a land drop. I just love uh, playing magic too much to miss a land drop. Missing a land drop is usually a thing that a uh, combo player do. I just... I'm not a combo player. I can't even... I can't even... I can't think I can fathom the option of uh, missing a land drop. I'm gonna get my Mardu Trium here. Welcome everyone to a new legacy video. Finit MTG, thank you for the seven people raid. I appreciate all of you. Okay, so I could subtlety this and then put a tracks in the grave, but I think this one actually exiles it. I'm just gonna leave with this. I mean, I have a prismatic ending. Ipa drafts to modern. You're playing Ipa draft. Ipa is a beer, but it's also a draft of old magic cards. Invasion, plane shift, apocalypse. All right, a card from invasion. Let's mention a card from invasion. What is it? It's from Invasion. Flamethone Cavu? Or is that Plane Shift? A card from Plane Shift, it's Terminate. Tribal Flames, that's true. Tribal Flames. Chromatic Sphere. I do have Chromatic Steers from uh, Invasion. Apocalypse Fiction, too, yeah. That's true. FTK's Plane Shift. Ooh, there it is. I was looking for Prismatic Ending. See, you just have to like manifest things strong enough and they appear. And they up here. Oh. 
Hope the stream goes well. Yes. So plane shift, I remember terminate, and I guess Linton Kabu. And then apocalypse. What is apocalypse? Apocalypse. Oh, pernicious deed. That's true. Such a strong card. Actually, that one is a card I couldn't easily reprint. Indicate. Right. Uh, I feel like I want to go Tainted Indulgence. I, I want to find a land drop. And then I want to play Fable. I want to play some normal magic. Can I get a land drop here? Land? Bravo! Okay, I want to hold the Traxinia. See, 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 see. Let's hold the Traxinia. Hold. Hold. Apocalypse at Fire Eyes. That's true. Man, it's so nice to hit your land drops. Honestly, there's nothing better than just make your land drops and play your spells. But it doesn't attack. They play around push and pull. No, I can't target that with push and pull. They're playing around... Uh... They have Court of Calling? What is that? They... they, they 99... Point ninety nine misclicked, but I'll never know. We will never know. Allora, oh, you want to get a? Oh, God, so now down they blew up my red land, and I can't fetch steam vents with marsh floods. No, get healed. My bad. Bona. Bona. Not scry. Graveyard, because I want to hit lands. Draw. Sweet! They didn't destroy my land. Let's play Fable Do. I miss a land drop, but I have Fable Do in play. Which is a good card. The winner is reacting to this. Let's see what it is. Reprieve. Oh, cazzo. Mamma mia. And now they're probably gonna stone rain me because they see that they don't have red mana. Mamma mia, these effects just like so painful. No, they drew land land. Is that the ring? No, 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 no! We lose. We lose. Nobody has ever lost a game with the one ring at empty board. That's just impossible. You, I feel like your deck needs to be way too weak to lose with the one ring in play on empty board. Although it could happen. It could happen. Okay, I think I need to go Fable because I need to find answers to the Sanctifier and Vec. Do you have a favorite list between all the Goryads? I wish. I wish. I wish I did. I wish I knew what was going on, but the truth is that I don't have a clue. Just like you. We are all the same. I'm just over here. Clicking the buttons. I kind of want to play against. I kind of want to play the one ring. Whenever I play against the one ring, I'm always wondering why am I not playing the one ring. You know, top four win the game. Why? Why don't they do that? Because I guess like every deck with win one ring, it's either I'm a titan or or it's bad. I guess it's the answer. That's a chat. I can't even attack. Let me go Falajo. Falajone. Let's see if I mill a Prismatic Ending or a Leyline Binding. That's a lot of outs. Invision Castle. Although you can see these rules of Magic the Gathering that you may have not known, which is that if your opponent has um, an effect that exiles your graveyard, you can still uh, select the card with Falaji. Now we will learn something. 
Uh, oh, let's go for Tainted Indulgence, looking for a Lilim Binding? What do you do? Um, I think I want to blink the Falaji now. They shouldn't be playing any one mana removal spells. White blue, white black, white blue. Didn't find Leyland Binding, but that's okay. We exiled the Grizzello, by the way. I don't want to attack. That would mean chump attacking into Sanctifier and Dark. When I paid four mana and drew six cards in the exchange of losing three life. A decent exchange. Unfortunately, I milled my swamp, so I feel the ruin is a stone rain now. Yeah, and they man, they have eight cards in, it and all they do is stone raining. That's it. No, the map. All right, now binding costs three, which is a lot, a lot more than one, like normal deck do. I guess I could draw fetch land too. Come on, binding. Oh, Bona. Okay. Now. 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 No, 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 no. Let me let me count the type. Now one, two, three. Okay. First attack. Then I'll go three mana binding. Yeah, so the deck is just Triosk MTGO on Google. MTG bot doesn't work. Yeah, I have to take you know, I'll let you draw four more cards. Not not a chance I can win this game. Actually, not a chance. Honestly, if you're like in a tournament environment and you want to just hang out, you put in place four mana ring, empty board, you should just give up, I think. Save everyone's time. Maybe I should just exile the ring. This hand is actually pretty, pretty poopy. Maybe they have another ring. I can't know that they have seven cards. I'm gonna main phase do this because I haven't made a land drop yet. That's a land drop. I'm gonna play Leyland Draco in this deck. Sure, you could. You could do anything. All right, so I have a Trixa in my graveyard. My opponent is only gonna draw. Uh, five cards this turn, not a big deal. They blew up my land, the red one. Okay. Yeah, five mana. How many ephemerates do I have? In my deck, two. Okay, they pass. They get to discard up three cards. Jeez. Okay. Ephemerate. Boom. Split is Goria on a track, huh? You play Gay Lost on Leyline Binding in response. I have to go Gord's Vengeance on a Trax. Let's hope you don't go Gay Lost on Binding again. You do. You do not. Okay. So this resolves. 
now. I have white black land in my deck. Mark, uh, see. I think I do. Okay. Okay, so let's take a land. What else? I want to take. I want to take Leyland Binding. That's very good. I want to take Grief. And I want to take Ephemerate. Actually, why do I care about Grief? Why do I care about Grief? I'll take Subtlety instead. Done. Then you resolve the Binding. Sorry to get lost. I got two maps. That one does its job. Exiles a bunch of shite. That one fizzles. Play land. All a uh, good combat. Attack with a Traxa. Then I go. White Black Land, Godless Shrine, yes, Ephemerate. <sighs> find Grief, I find Ending, I find Binding, and I find a Land, and the Tainted Indulgence too, done. Now. I go grief, pitch. My tracks are tainted indulgence. Let's pitch tainted indulgence. My deck is a few comments above. If you just came in, you can go Triosk MTGO on Google. The screen is a little bit messy, but I want to make sure I have everything under control. Uh, I'm going to take a Winds of Abandon. Then I go to discard. What do I discard? I want to discard a... Land and two Fable. Now you take four damage. You draw five cards with the ring. They gain a lot of life. Or solid choose to have. This game too, right? Yeah, do you think I should concede? You think I should concede? I don't know. There's a world, right? There's a world where I win. I still have hedge maids in my deck. I can't hard cast as a track, so. How do you ever win? You think it's impossible? Do you guys think it's impossible? I should give up. Yeah. Okay. No, I believe you. They also have a Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can never win. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. All right. Game three on the play. Uh, I want to have Max answer for the Sanctifier in back. I think I'm taking out Subtlety. Nothing is possible. Always give up. Right. 
My hand is good. Let's go. Um, mm -mm. I'll go grab a survey land. This hand is really good. Very, very good end. I get a white. Oh, I want, I want blue. Or blue black. Maybe blue, blue, blue black or white blue. Because I have a. I have a. I have a bad, I have a bad, I have a bad blue black, yeah. Because I have a brief in my deck. Ephemerate. Well, Ephemerate does the combo. It does the combo. The problem with Ephemerate is that if they go Sanctifier and Vec, it's a little bit annoying. Storm Brain. Such a relief when I put the Storm Brain. So it doesn't have Surgical Extraction. No Surgical, please. Sweet! All right. Oh, I definitely want grief. Hey, what else? I want fable. I want land. Do I want to pitch Gorio or do I want to? I guess I'll have another ephemerate. All right, well, this went well. Yeah, maybe I should have just grieved before. I didn't think about solitude. That was my bad. I want to grief, yeah, because I go to discard. Well, uh, I discard the one ring. Oh, look, I was Lord. You think their deck is playable? Yeah, I mean, it's decent. I wouldn't play it. I would have also won the game if I graced first. I guess I wouldn't because they had two solitudes. Let's see what they name. Name Gorio. And we have uh, two left. Fable, fetch go, you understand why one would play my opponent deck? Well, it's a control deck with the one ring, I mean it's a, it's not very different than blue white control or four color omnath. I think I'm gonna go um, blue green, so I have domain. I should have drawn this. I'm so stupid. I'm so used to put it in a graveyard. My bad. I hope it doesn't matter, but it may very well matter. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake there.
I think I hold land in end to discard it to Fable. Yes, I'll discard Watch Regrave and uh, Leyline Binding. Why discard Leyline Binding? That was my answer to the One Ring. It's literally plays at random. Mega <sighs> Falaji. Hopefully I'll stop the random plays. They have a Breath of God in hand, huh? We go for Lashi. Mailed all my creatures. Uh, yeah, I guess I pass. Yeah, it was awful being a Traxa. Such a huge mistake. I think I want to go Ephemerate on Falaji. Just turn Ephemerate into two spells is nice. Next turn I can ephemerate the fable in response to Wrath, so I keep the fable around. I don't know if that's a good play, but that's a play I can make. Alright, let's attack. Can I just I think I'll play the Strium. I still have one attracts in my deck, so twenty-five cards. I can find I can find it. So time. I don't know, it's a giorno, no, porco dinci. Uh, top line go. This is this match two only. Tio Caro, I gotta go soon. All right, opponent plays the ring. Yeah, I guess I'll pass. You can find the deck at MTGO Triosk on Google. MTGO bot doesn't work and try to not spend too much time. All right, I pass. If you want to tap the ring, I can end it. So you draw zero cards. Yeah, I should have cycled the Triumph. I, mean, I, I, I should have done like a million different plays. I'm just... Very far ahead, so I try not to punt, but it's difficult. Alright, so here I want to do this for sure. To gain some more value. Hope to not bring... Hope to not mill a Traxa though. And then I want to blink the Reflection. Which is gonna leave me with a fable. Again, I don't know if those was a good play, I just did it. Now, the solid should in end.
Falaji. I should want to discard both Falajis here. I'm looking for a track so. Angel cats. All right, I'll do this and pass. I guess I still have a survey land. I should have. I should have got it. Yeah, I've won a track, so. In 18 cards. I don't have subtlety anymore, though, so. That's how I should wear resolve. I also have two griefs. Yes, I'll discard Loot Delta and Prismatic Ending. Okay. Tuck a Goblin. Opponent oh, goes Solitude. I'll, uh, I guess I'll take the two for one. Or maybe I can just march it. So it deal those two damage. Yeah, let's march it. Done. And then I go grief. I think you have a spelling in because you just cycle the Eagles of the North. So you should have a spelling in. Get lost. I also play Fable. Alright, pass. Hope you don't drive Wrath of God. Drive Celestial Purge. <sighs> 14 cards in my deck. I'll start a turn by drawing two cards with Tainted Indulgence. Then I discard Planes and an Ending. I'll uh, attack and pass. I have nine cards in my deck, three minutes on the clock. I mean, sure, in this matchup, Fable is much better. I, mean, I can't deny that. Demolition Field. Ah, oh, they're dead. Ah, oh, they're dead. Ah, oh, they're dead. Oh, wait, they're not dead. I miscounted. Wait, I thought you were at five. Hey, Koyoni opponent. Why didn't you just die? I don't even know if I have a land. I don't. What's my deck? Grief, Attracts, a March. Die. Wanna die. Settle the wreckage? Yes, yeah, settle the wreckage? Please don't. Yes. Oh. It was a long game, but we won. I threw away.
Okay, I probably played the worst game ever, but we I won the game. Uh, Alright. I'll uh, take a moment to recoup from this game. And then I'll uh, be right back for round number three. Round number three. My hand is great. Glorious hand of Magic the Gathering. Glorious hand of Magic the Gathering. Grief, Pitch, Grisello, Pisello. Get out, what you got? Hmm, your hand is good. If I didn't have grief, scam on turn one. Let's go with Ragavan. Maybe I just want to get planes now. Nah, I'll go godless for steam vents. You shouldn't have taken them, um, Ragavan. Little Lion. I should ephemerate is the same pose as the Grief. Pretty obvious these two cards would work well together and they had the same picture. Bro. When with a a little hand. It doesn't do very much. Let's go steam vents. So now I have all my mana base lined up. I can cast anything I find off of this fable. Gorio or Leland Binding? What do I want? I'm gonna go Leland Binding. I think... I don't know why, but I think it takes a little bit to Gorio. on. No, I should have done... Should have done, should have done Gorio. Do I want to go Thoughtseize? Nah, they... I mean, they may have Fable as their card, but... I'm gonna wait on this Thoughtseize. Yeah, I should have got Gorio. You think Infect can be good in Modern? Um, maybe we'll MH3. Yeah, they could push Infect. Definitely not good now, but they can push it. Not impossible. Couldn't draw a Thoughtseize. I showed them my hand of nothing. I mean, it's four spell, so it's definitely something, but it isn't a really good end. It's unlikely that they drew a spell now that they had the Takenuma turn. And I'm gonna fetch up a survey land. It's gonna be a white blue. Or no, because I milled it. So I guess it's gonna be a blue green then. So I have domain. I strongly doubt that they have a uh, what's it called uh, Orcish Bow Master in end but I am still trying to play around it since I don't need it because I have grief I mentioned Puno has to tap out like they just use Takenuma for example and then I can play the Tainted Intelligence safe
upkeep fetch. What is it? Push. Uh, yep, there's nothing I can do. Right, pass. Now this is just draw two, which is really nice. Yeah, I'll play around the uh, work. Yeah, I can afford to. Okay. A milled grief. Yeah, they got grief. I'll draw two, no discard. So and this is a game where the grave scam basically just like slowed them down enough that even if my hand even if my draws was like not the best, I was still able to pro problem still able to win the game. Okay, they have the black splash. I'm assuming that is um So here, I could, in theory, go Thoughtseize, because they may have drawn it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go Binding, play Tap Land and Pass. Mm, ending for 4, was a play available? Yes. I just want to get a Survey Land. Just want to get a survey land. Yeah, this, the green splash is for picky poison usually. Okay, very good. Let's draw and play it. Blue and black. Okay. I'll uh, play Falaji. I'll top this land. I don't mind if I find Ephemerate. Thoughts is ending ending. Alright, I guess I'll do a third ending. Yeah, nothing really much going on. I have 29 cards. I've seen 29 cards and... I guess one Grizzlebrand and one Gory I've seen, but not in best places. They drew Fable. I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kill Fable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill Fable. Uh, I don't wanna kill Fable. Yeah, Fable is definitely a problem. Okay, okay. I keep on drawing these tainted indulgences, which are obviously extremely strong. Like two mana draw two, no downside is amazing. Okay, that's a fable. Guess I'll play it. And then I could go like planes ending on this shaman. Or I can just block it with a phalagi. Yeah, I don't think I need uh I I I think I'm gonna hold this marsh flats in end too, yeah. I wanna have all this prismatic ending. I, I, this is a game that goes super long. I may be, I may need to cast them all. What series for Fable? I mean, you have Fable over Mending. You have uh, Lay by Binding over Solitude. So I'll do the easy blocks. They didn't discard off of Fable, so they must have drawn a spell. I know I have one white mana, but I have the Goblin Shaman too next turn if I really need it. I'm going to draw Orcish Bowmaster and chooses to ping me over a Falaji. I draw an Ephemerate. Mm. It, well, one, two, yeah, so I'm going to discard one card only. Go to four. Still crazy I didn't draw a Atraxa. Oh, there it is. Okay, I can cast a Traxa here. Yeah, let me cast a Traxa here. Good planes, I hope so. 
So they can draw Bolt and Collapse and I die on board. They can draw Bolt and I also die on board. What, what can I do otherwise? I can go double ending. I'll ending a Grief and I'll ending a Goblin Shaman. Ending the grief, and I can fetch, go to three, ending a goblin shaman, and then I have block block, but then I still die to bolt. I st I always die to bolt. Yeah, so I die to bolt and fatal push. I think it's okay with that. I think it's okay to die to bolt and fatal push. Not having solitude hurts here, that's true. That's so I should have been super safe this game. Instead I have all these prismatic ending that don't do anything. Because I never really had a great timing to play them. Yeah, I'm dead on board to a push. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. <sighs> if I block like this, I have to. Yeah, they can't Orkish Bowmaster their blocker. I feel good, right, with this block? I think so. Yeah, let's block like this. Ah, oh, did you push? It's unfortunate. Yeah, I lose. Yeah, there was no way to play around push. I mean, I could have played it differently. I could have gone ending, ending, but then I would have lost to, I don't know, something else. What if I cyber like this? Maybe I trim on ephemerate as well since I don't have any creatures. I think the fair is good against Cam. I should have just should have just killed grief and killed uh maybe I die regardless if I draw a push and I kill two creatures. Because I fetch. I guess I don't fetch, I use the treasure. Maybe I don't attack so I can have an additional blocker. Yeah, I had a lot of lines. May have chosen the one that was dead was dying to push. Oh, I'll very good this. Although I have a track sign, it's a little bit too slow. Like it comes in on turn three. I hope to draw an untapped land here instead. Yay, I can go subtlety. I'll pitch a track so yeah. When it puts the grief at the bottom of their deck. Perfect, I draw a Flooded Strand, so I can go Plains and Falaji. I'll get Supreme Verdict. 
I only have two cores in my deck, which you don't think are enough. Enough for what? For winning the game? They're enough. You only need to draw one. Buongiorno, Pivo. You did a trophy today? Woo! Locked for Prague. Nice to see. Nice to see. Let me see. Let me see if you posted a picture. You didn't yet. I'm happy for that. I played this league terribly and I'm somehow still here. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. My problem with Gory and why I side him out is that my opponent is going to have hate for my graveyard. And my deck is for, uh, for Fable. So I think... Oh, okay, yeah, so maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. should have just minused. I forgot about Molten Collapse. Yeah, this should have bounced. Uh, I followed you for sure. I think I think the fair is very good against uh, against scam. I always believe that. In fact, I was playing Dreadbore at some point in scam. Then they made Molded collapse, so it's easy. <laughs> but hello. Thoughtsies resolves. It's gonna be my last match of this league on stream. I definitely have to go. Definitely have to go. Alright, let's discourse Supreme Verdict and land. I believe in this attract, Sam. Hope they don't kill my Goblin Shaman. They don't. Sweet. Second Raku's Theater? Let's see. No. They only play one Raku's Theater. Okay. Could play more. Could play two. Could play three. Could play four. I can see playing two in Scam. Raku's Theater. Don't grief me. Takenuma. Oh, you want to flip grief? Don't flip grief. You didn't. I bet my opponent now regrets not having discarded a track side. They discarded Ephemerate. Which sounds a little bit weaker than a track side. Yeah, they concede. Thank you, opponent. I appreciate the time that you're saving me. Also, maybe I would have found a way to lose that game. Who knows? Anyway, uh, game number three. But my cybert has a lot of good cards, I'm not gonna deny that. I don't wanna take out any Atraxas, I think they're great. You can just put them in, put them in the graveyard freely. But yeah, let's confirm this configuration. Again, I don't know if it's right. Wallander. Keep. Ragaban, okay. We came prepared. We have nice man, Madonna, che culo. All right, what do I, what do I, what do I get here? Uh, what if I get? Do you think they have blood money in their deck? They may, right? Yeah, what if I go planes here? Go planes. planes ending, and then we'll see. Let's just get planes. Once I get planes, I can uh, bind it for four, or for three, the the blood money. They have a, I suppose, 
I can't, yes, that's true. I can't binding on turn two that. Well, on turn three is all right. Laura, what can I do here? Let me think. I can go like, so don't, oh, so, hold on. If I go for Laji, Think of Steam Vents Falaji and then Swarm Binding for two. Yeah, Steam Vents Falaji is what I like to do here. Let's do that. Just don't mill a Traxa. Oh, could you inch away or if I mill a Traxa? Ah, uh, you don't. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Ah. Uh. No, I know about Void Walker, just didn't think about the tracks. Uh, and also, like. No, 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 yeah, it's not good. No, 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 we have to change the play. Okay, I'll go Stevens and Tap, go, but then they can go Orc. Okay, no, I just I just go Tainted Indulgence. Okay, I go. Uh, but they can go Tainted Indulgence. But I don't know, you guys are This is hard. Alright, what if I go Hedge Mate Surveil? Hedgemates surveil, but then I got the wrong land. Oh no, I couldn't go Hedgemates with the Marsh Flats. Mm -hmm. Mabina does go Hedgemates. Is it the best deck? Ah, unfortunately, I can't go Marsh Flats Fable. I have to Graveyard this and they can play with that. Porca putana. Never been, never been a top, top. I can get Savai Trium and then cast Binding for one. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Is this the best deck? No, the best deck is uh, Yagumot. But I can't play it, so I have to try something else. That's the tough part of playing modern. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I have to do that play here. I guess I will try them and then binding. Is it going? It's going well. It's it's difficult, but like I think I see all the lines like few seconds after I play them. So it's not like impossible, you know what I mean? Like if I if I would be focused, I think I could play this deck at a good level. Which can't be true for Yoga Motor Amulet, that even if I'm focused I can't see the lines. Thankfully, I don't have a tracks in end. I just simply Yogmoth. It's just you need too much time. I don't have that much time. At this point, I just can't learn anything. This is for the PT, but even then. No, this is a bella merda. Dio caro che schifo. Allora, I think I'm gonna go Tainted Indulgence here. Put this card attracts and then march the Dothy. I'm just gonna discard Goria. And pass. After two, two, three match, well, at least I prefer more. I like this more. I like the fable. The other one fell to two Ivarians to me, the Esper one. And don't get me wrong, maybe this is not great still, but I think it's better than the other one. Okay, we want to go March Pitch Attracts, huh? Grazie a vinco sta partita. Oh. E che è so nasciò. Maybe Sochi instead of Binder is better. Maybe.
On I femorate the subtlety. I want to use ephemerate to pitch to Dothy. Point is on 15. How do I win this game? I don't, I don't know when this game. Oh, this game, I don't think I could have won. Game one, hundred percent. This one, I couldn't have won. Ah! What's the time? So you're in the mid, so hmm. Alright, I'll play another one. But if things go poorly, I'll concede. Because I need to leave very, very soon. But I feel like all to all, every single losses today could have been won. Every single loss today could have been won. Modern became really, really hard. Okay, let's go. This this shitty th this is the worst card of the deck, prismatic ending. It just feels so bad in this deck. And now I don't have the white black surveil land. I'm just gonna mulligan this hand. I'm tired of this prismatic ending in every hand. They're just weak. Thoughts on Lilian Sign package in this deck. Sure, I mean you can do it, you can do anything. Donne che culo. I don't know how often are you supposed to do this by sta by what's it called by eh? But I've, I've been doing it a lot. I think at least three times today in like the I don't know seven matches I play. Push be better than ending, maybe. Matchup is bad? You mean against Cam? Could be, could be. Okay, I think I wanna just do it. I think I wanna just do it. Yeah, I'll go. Which land do I wanna get here? White. White, black. And then blue, red. Yeah, white, black. White, black, blue, red. And the surveillance lens you use, I think three. Uh, the bot doesn't work, but this is the list from Triosk. So if you go Triosk MTGO on Google, you'll find it. Wow, I even go to this card. Jeez. Uh, let's do this.
Okay, my opponent got the Lyrum on turn two, which is decent. I'm just gonna slam a Fable here. Let's slam a Fable here, then I get connected by the Ragavan. Maybe you don't want to slam a Fable. Yeah, maybe I don't want. I'm gonna go, what here, Island Tainted the Indulgence first, and then ending the Ragavan. Island Tainted Indulgence. And exile the Ragavan. I guess I could have gone a steam vents. I mean, that was better. I guess I I was hoping to find some spells. Yeah, because I could have gone survey land if I had steam vents last turn. Okay, this is not bad, but also like not too good because it cost two mana with the steam vents here. I guess I should be taking more um, Hedge Maze on turn one. Or spots like this. They go Merc Tide. Okay. Gonna discard the uh, two cards. Two lands. So these two. Draw two. Eh, eh, I think I just need to top deck now. Not much else to do. Need to top deck, go are you? Eh, I lose. Oh, wait a second, they don't have the Lyrium. They don't have Delirium yet. I let you on top so you don't loot with Shredder. If you have Counterspell, I lose regardless. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm dead now. Uh, Bella, Bella, Bella. We have reanimated on turn two and lost. Can you believe that? I did not. This feels like a game that I lost with Amulet Titan against Merc Tide, where I drew like half of my deck and lost. And I don't know if it's make a, because I make a mistake or because I got unlucky. It really reminded me that I four season it happened. I drew like my whole deck. I just didn't draw a Titan, but or a Pact, or I felt like I don't know. It's too easy to blame it on the variance when you draw so many cards. It must have been my fault this game as well. Alright, I actually dislike Grief once again. I feel like Grief...
You're not sure if it's correct to gore you without being able to flicker. That is also what I thought at the moment. I'm thinking about all the things I could have done differently. But that one... But that one... My opponent is playing Merc died and they're tapped out. You know? Yes, I'll go to Prague. No idea what to play. I hope to play a deck that I can play decent. That's the only thing that tilts me. It's when I feel like I have the cards to win. Yeah, Tron. Tron is definitely a deck I can play. My problem with Tron is that I tend to keep every single shitty hand I open, which is fine in a league, but you know, in a tournament setting, I don't know, I don't know. Put it decided I'm gonna take the whole three minutes, the famous Nassif sideboarding. Oh, I mean, this hand is good. I can go stuff. I try your match mains, binding, 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 fable. You're taking my living end list to the next MPX San Francisco. No, don't do it. I built it with like one minute. Don't don't take my list. I'm sure I'm sure you can net deck much better players than me. And now they miss a land drop. Man, I would have one two zero if I played it somehow differently, I think. Babine, Babine, Babine. As the Next RC being announced, yes, in Europe it's at the end of May, it's in Naples, Italy, and it's gonna be standard. The format that everyone loves. You mean after Naples? No, no, but it's gonna be like in September or whatever. Uh, Bo, I don't know. Do you think they play Blood Moon in that deck? Maybe. I guess a Fable. Uh, bah. I'll take a dual land, whatever. All right, let's go planes. Let's go binding and fable. Yeah, black red scam definitely can be in the meta game. Yeah, I mean it struggled against uh, rhinos. Now rhinos is less popular. So yeah. They kept him bold against me, that's crazy. Zero uno, zero uno. What do you say? Ah, so close. I think I'll discard binding. I don't have quite 
the um, the five types, but I guess I definitely want to wait until I have all the five types. What are we playing? Hey, that's a good question, actually, because if you look at these cards, it looks like a random collection of cards. Um, this is a uh, five color gore, four color gore, or whatever. This for binding and a track set, but yeah. I guess domain with that con random MTGO. I think zero among the five uh, modern challenges. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I read those stats and I believe them. Among the five deck, among the five challenges, there were zero rhinos in top eight. And obviously a lot less people played it, but also the deck is much weaker. But I can also be wrong. Uh, do I have the types? Zero, uno, tre, sei. Nope. Still missing. Uh, do I want to play binding end of turn? Yeah, let's play binding. I guess maybe this is wrong, because binding goes on Merktide, and that one dies to prismatic ending. Wait a second. So the indulgence? Do I still want to wait? No, I think now it's time to play it. I want to discard these cards. Yeah. I'll discard them both, or do I want to keep Flash to Storm? I don't even know what I'm what I'm digging for. What are you digging for, Mango? Oh, another Fable, I guess. This is a luck deck? Uh, is it a luck deck? I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a luck deck. I don't know. I mean, you, you can hire roll, but like... I guess, I guess it is a luck deck. No opponent, no... Die opponent, let's go, I need to leave. Alright. Discard this too. Okay. Play Tainted Indulgence. Let's play Tainted Indulgence. To my draw too. Carte totalmente a caso, va bene, go. I think I should have not played the Tainted Indulgence, should have I just hold it. No, that's not true though. Because it's just, what do I do, like discard one card? No, this is better, yeah, yeah, this is better. Mm. Right, so let's begin by exiling the, the Uccelli. I go Falaginho. Falaginho muy bonito with reflection. I'll pick up a fable. Yes. Then I want to go land. I want to go to end of turn. I don't know if it makes any sense. Probably it doesn't make any sense. No, let's just do this now. Let me find a prismatic ending. Okay, I found the tracks in the graveyard though, so that's good. I used to have some random emoji. I think I also have a carbonara emoji, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I do, lol. Back in the days, my emojis were just 
Yeah, I just like random food. They have two cards in hand. See uh, if they have a. Um, let's see if they have a force of negation or a surgical extraction. They don't. And also, they don't concede because I managed to lose the game previously after doing the thing. So, rightfully, they think that they can win this too. But this time, I'd say I it's going to be harder to lose. Let's say it's going to be harder to lose this time. The opponent, devo andare via, porcaccia. I don't know how I'm below in time. I guess I had to think thoroughly before losing game one. <sighs> I told them, please, I need to go. Let's finish this match, which can spiral into the opposite, which is, oh, you have to go? Cool. Then I'm gonna just do this thing that lasts forever so you concede. Or they can also be like, okay, sure, I'll concede. Let's go to game three. It's, it's kind of a, a squeeze. No, actually, they decided that um, they continue. Cottinci e stall again. Porca merda! Dai, cazzo, dai, dai! Did tell them about the carbonara? No, I didn't. But we exchanged a very nice little chat from game one where they told me, your list is very different. And I said, yes, it's a list that is able to lose when you reanimate the tracks on turn two. Not everybody is capable of doing that. And my opponent responded with, I have a very good percentage win against uh, the, yeah, against your deck, which I didn't respond. Now they said that you can concede any time. Eh, c'ha ragione, he's right. I can concede any time. I can concede any time. They are very much right. Va bene, guarda, I hope... Uh, I hope I don't have to concede any time. Bene, va bene, we won. Let's go to the third and final game, which is probably going to last half an hour. Uh, uh, um, I don't know, why did I cut thoughts? I don't know, I guess because I wasn't thinking about things properly. Uh, what do I want to have in my deck? All these cards seem great. Maybe I just shave a track Sangoria. I don't have a, a functional mana base. But it is the life of playing uh, three or four color, or many colors am I playing five? Carbonara stream when? Let me... Let me live a non-content life. <laughs> uh, yeah. How was Berlin? It's good, I mean cold, cold. Cold. 
Whenever I go to cold places, I wonder. I wonder how hard is it to be for a person that was born in the in a in a warm place to move to a cold place. They really need to pay you a lot to do that. I guess they do. Most of the time they do. So that's why people do it. Then I came here. You don't need a jacket. There's the sun outside. Look okay, bello. Look how beautiful there is the sun outside. Imagine looking at the sky and you see no clouds. It's, it makes you happy. I can tell you that. It makes you happy. Laura. Let's throw a bird lawyer under the, 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 the whatever I want to throw it under. The bus. Let's throw it under the bus. A fable. Go. You're Australian, you moved to London for two years, it was horrible. Yeah, I mean, again, you, you do it for the career, for the money and everything. But when you come back home, it's just, you appreciate it so much. Sunny here too, even in Scotland. Okay, okay. Sometimes, I guess. In Berlin today, you have no clouds? Very nice, very nice. I guess when I was there this weekend, it rained every time. It was zero degrees. Every time I went outside, it was raining. <laughs> I went to a very good restaurant. I had to wait on the line outside. I was like, no, let's go to another place. <laughs> and it's even like the 20th of March, you know? Well, that's ending that. Let's just make totally random plays, hoping that somehow I put an attract in the graveyard. Boom. Yummy, we got a one for. Ooh, the opponent doesn't have a spell. I love to see that. That means there's gonna go attack and pass. Or I can go Fable. They can go Counter Spell, I can go Fluster. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Good morning, Mishleaf. This Fluster I don't know, may not be good. It was 40 degree in Melbourne at the RC. Yeah, Anthony told us in the podcast. It was very, very hot. I remember during PT Barcelona, a lot of people complained that it was very, very hot. And I... I don't know, I guess I didn't feel it. So people have the opposite problem. Don't play spell peers, please. Thank you. You dash Ragaban. I think I'm taking it. It may end up in a defeat, but I don't want to block with my Goblin Shaman. If you did this, it means you have no removal. So my Goblin Shaman can go free. Hedge Maids. My mana base is fixed. Marcia. Vabbè, dai, mi hai niente. Let's keep it in hand. Uh, zir, uh, I think... Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Hmm, missing a fourth type. I don't want to use it. I love, like these cards. Could both. Even the archaeologist. Even though I know they have Ragavan, yes. Vamos, 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 Daniel, vamos. Daniel, how does it feel that your deck is now good again? 
your creativity deck is good again, according to results and other content creator. Whoa, that's a lot of bombs that are revealed. I don't know what to take now. All right, I'll actually take a thought seize. I want to see what you got. I'm curious. Is creativity good again? That's what they say. Cause if I counter spell, seek the beast. What do you reveal? What do you reveal? Flusterstorm Ragavan. Oh wow, you reveal Flusterstorm? No pens at the. Okay, you have flustered my thoughts. Is uh, zero uno three say oh, no, I don't have seven. Okay, okay, that's fine. All uh, F six. You can go. J Who is they? People. People. Junk creativity is good. I mean, you won a very large tournament, so you can say it's good if you won a large tournament. Every time I play a deck with Brandon Six, I feel bad. So it will definitely not be me. You play a Ragaban, see, because he was Exile with Quest Injury, not the one from hand. And then you play a Stone of Eric. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Not much I can do. <sighs> 13 to 15. I took a draw, I took Fable. I don't want to play Tinted Indulgence, I want to wait. Oh, Quadraxinia. Huh. I think we both offered a trade. Last uh, league we went 3 2. This league we are 2 1. And I really have to go, so maybe I have to. I pass? Or do I want to cast a Traxa? No, I cast a Traxa and it's a po' brutta. Let's pass. Yeah, that's, that's, that's her name. That's her Brazilian name. Ah, it was your... Yeah, buongiorno, buongiorno. No, MTG bot doesn't work today, unfortunately. You can't see the usual things that you can see. But I try to keep track of my record. My point is at 7, an attimo, eh? An attimo. You tap a blue and a green, oh. And you play the, 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 the beast. Va bene, va bene. You tap out? Oi, oi, oi. Can they have subtlety against me? I guess they could, yes. Crypta di Tormod. E... Ricordiamolo. Zero, uno, tre, sei. Yeah, I don't have this ability, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Right, I want to go Tinted Indulgence end of turn. I know that I don't have the types, unfortunately, but... I think I have it now, because I go put a Trax in the graveyard. Yeah, I think I have it now. I put a Trax in the graveyard, then I go March on Tormod's Crypt. I crack the crypt and I go Quarrio. And then I win. Okay. Well, I somehow threw away game one, but then I was able to win game two and three, and it was in time. So this deck is good. You have to focus, you have to obviously get lucky, well, that's with every deck, but this deck is good, I have to go, it was a pleasure to play this deck for you today, and uh, I'll see you next time, if you watch this on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment, even if they don't help.